Tidy está con nosotros aquí en Latin Stage Ritmo Son. In the name of every single human being out there who enjoyed your set, I want to thank you for coming here to Mexico. Are you happy? I'm so happy. Thank you so much. This is my first time to Mexico City and the people here are just so into it. They love the music. It's great. Every Australian that comes to Mexico City loves it. I mean, we've interviewed Emma Hewitt, Nervo, uh, now you, and everyone has the same smile on their faces. It's amazing. Well, how could we not be smiling? This is such a beautiful city. And, um, you know, being like the first time in a new city, I, we never know what to expect. And so I was a little bit nervous. Like, will there be fans? Will they like my music? And there were fans with tidy, like, tattoos and, and uh, banners that said my new single, Tear Me Up. So, such amazing people. Uh, everyone was just so, like, like, crazy fun. Awesome, congratulations. You deserve that because you've worked so hard. We know a lot about your, your career and everything, but um, there, there's a lot of information about you on the internet. And sometimes it's difficult to tell what's true and what's false. So we're going to play a little game that's called True or False. Okay. And you're going to tell us, you know, which ones are the things that people make up and which ones are the real things, all right? This sounds dangerous, but okay. A little bit, a little bit. We're going to go into very dangerous territories here. So the first one, you have a Blink-182 tattoo. It's true. What the hell? What? What? Okay, so you like... Teenage years, you were like really, really big fan? Yeah, so uh, when I was 15, I wanted to be a drummer in a rock band. Okay. And I played drums for five years. I still play drums. Uh, and I got this actually only two, three years ago. But um, it's a reminder about what I would be if I didn't, if I wasn't a DJ and I pursued drumming and I pursued rock music, maybe I would be, you know, like in a band like Blink. No, you, you know, you, you, you took a better path, I think. The path of love and peace and festivals like this, full of colors. Let's go with the next, next sentence. You sleep with a rabbit that was given to you by a fan. Like a real rabbit? Like an animal? It's not real. Um, so it's partially true. Uh, on Valentine's Day, a fan threw uh, like a fluffy toy rabbit on stage and I caught it in my mouth. It, it was like, <laughs> uh, oh my God, so it's very good reflexes. Yeah, I caught it in my mouth, so I kept it and I toured with it for about a month, and it came to every show, and I did sleep with the rabbit. Not like sleep with the rabbit, but you know <laughs> that sounds a little weird. Yeah, I slept with my rabbit. Well, we shared a bed. We shared a bed. Okay, yeah. I don't know if that sounds better, but anyway, next one. You hate Justin Bieber? No, I like Justin. Oh, you like him? Yeah, I actually play. Um, a few Justin Bieber tracks in my sets. Okay. Yeah, I, this is false. I love. Yeah, that's false. I I love the. Um, you know, where are you now? I love that track. The next one is my favorite. It's Halloween time, so this one is very appropriate. You once had to do a set standing on a puddle of blood. That's true. How did you find What? That? Um, what? What happened was, I used to DJ without shoes on. Um, and I was playing in Malta, in, um, uh, you know, the island below Italy. So I was playing in Malta, and I dropped a glass of water at the, like, on the stage. And then as I was DJing, I was stepping in glass. I didn't realize. And everyone was going, look at your feet, look at your feet. And I'm like, yeah. There must have been a lot of these for you not to realize that you were bleeding to death. I looked down, because I was having so much fun DJing, I didn't realize there was blood everywhere. And um, the promoter who booked me had to carry me off stage and then into a wheelchair and take me to hospital. So that's true, and I feel so bad about that. I don't think there are a lot of DJs in the world that can say, I once did a set on a puddle of blood. My own blood. My own blood. Yeah. Beautiful, that's beautiful. Okay, so uh, one more. You're a big fan of the work of certain uh, Latin American DJs. In fact, you used to play Heat Beats Chin Pokemon on every single set of yours a couple of years ago. That's true. That's true. I actually played a Heat Beat track today. You did, which one? Yeah. Um, Bonasaurus. 
Yeah. Are you, are you familiar with other Amer uh, Latin American DJ? Um, if you said the names, probably, but I, I would have to think about it. Um, but Heat Beat stands out. Like they, they have really great tracks. Um, Did you know the ones that are here today, like Carl Nune Nunez and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I definitely know of them, and I've heard some of their songs. And um, it's super exciting to be playing at the same festival as them. You know. Well, I mean, yeah. I just love how Heat Beats. Uh, they, they have they have like the randomest names for their songs. Have you ever heard one that's uh, Chochicho Tiene Hambre? No. Which is about uh, Matias's cat. Oh, I think it, it, it means Chochicho is hungry. Didn't they have one about like bacon, like more bacon or something? Or? I didn't know that one. That, that's too crazy. They, they always have really cool song titles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I need to think of some better song titles. You should. You should. Like, off the top of your head, which one would be good? Like, something to do with your rabbit mm. and blood. I'll probably name a song after Scarlett Johansson. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I've already done it. I have a song called Scarlett. Shh. You have a song called Scarlett. Is, is, it, is she your celebrity crush? Yeah. Scarlett is my celebrity crush. Okay. It's a shame she's married, you know. Yeah. But it's someone that you would be nervous about meeting. No, I think I would. I don't think I'd play cool. Nervous. I think I'd, I'd play cool. <laughs> I reckon, give me like 20 minutes with that girl, I think I'd win her heart. Okay. okay, yeah. okay. Make her cheat. I'm lying. I would probably... <laughs> I would probably faint. <laughs> that, that, that would probably be the case. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I, I hope you enjoyed Mexico, and I hope you come back a lot, a lot, a lot of times in the future. Can I just say you look like a, a unicorn has attacked you? I know, I know, I know. It was like I was doing, you know, a little take in the middle of the crowd. It was like color powder, like everywhere. I have, yeah, not. I, I'm, I see it now. But, uh, yeah. I look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much to everybody that came out to see me play today. I love Mexico and I can't wait to come back. So. Tidy, señoras y señores, entrevista exclusiva para ustedes aquí en Ritmo Sons.